Back in the year 2000, Pokemon was an almost unrecognizable game from what it is today and has been for at least 11 years. Not only has the game itself changed <coughs> for the better, but the way in which tournaments are conducted are night and day from this time period. Really quick before getting into the video, I want to suggest that you subscribe. Only about one fourth of my viewers are, and my upload schedule is going to be changing in the future, so make sure you sub so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Today, I'm looking at the historical first ever Pokemon World Championship of the year 2000. Before the internet age, Pokemon was obviously a much smaller game. Not only that, but information regarding the spread of tournaments and how one could get involved into the competitive scene was slim to none, unlike how many resources are available nowadays. For reference to how World's qualification works in VGC now and since 2008, there exists an entire annual system of qualification-based tournaments including regionals, internationals, and locals to qualify oneself for Worlds. The way it worked differently in 2000 was that every invited country would have one single tournament to qualify for Worlds instead. The World Championship Tournament brought in the current champion from eight countries of Australia, Belgium, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, the United States, and the United Kingdom. The way the game worked back then was the participating players would make their team in a copy of red, blue, or yellow, and then port their team of six onto Nintendo's copy of Pokemon Stadium. From there, players would choose three Pokemon of their six to battle in a 3v3 singles format, almost like how current VGC uses four out of six in a 2v2 format. What's actually amazing to me is how similar a lot of the teams from this time are to the RBY OU teams being used even to this day. I attached a link to all of the archived footage of this world's event in the video description here if you want to check it out. The entire tournament took place over the span of a single day, and the finals matchup was between Germany's champion Edwin Kraus and the UK's champion Darren Van Vuren. Darren Van Vuren took the win over Edwin and was dubbed the first ever Pokemon World Champion. Footage of their finals match is still on YouTube to this day, and you can see some of it on screen now. A lot of these players stuck around in the community for a long time, and while the most modern version of what VGC looks like today wouldn't be started until 2008, a lot of these players stuck around in tournaments, specifically in the RBY era, and played together for many years after. Unfortunately, in early 2021, it was discovered that Darren Van Vuren had passed away in a suicide, and it struck the community very hard. Players who competed all the way back in the first 2000 World Championship and other tournaments after of the era came to show their support in the Smogon thread and the Reddit thread that were dedicated to Darren, and an online conference memorial was even held in his honor, with certain Pokemon playing friends and acquaintances of his speaking about how great of a character and influence he had always been on the community. The organizers of the memorial also held a tournament in Worlds 2000 style on Pokemon Showdown using the stadium rules, and I was unfortunately not able to find out who the winner was. So if anyone watching knows, please tell me in the comments, because I'm curious. While I hate to end this video on a very dreary note, I think it is still amazing to consider how close the community that was started an entire 22 years ago can still be to this day, and the lengths that the good-hearted members of the community will go to make Pokemon a great, lifelong journey for everybody involved.